Hey everyone, so I thought it'd be fun to show you how I cover this recollections planner with this used purse that I bought at Value Village because I really liked the fabric. Um, I bought this one at Michael's, I think it was $17. I bought this one because of the inside, I like the color, I thought it would go well with the color of the purse, and it has really nice rings. Um, the purse is one that I bought at Value Village for $6.99, and I really like the pattern. I'll be using this Gorilla Spray Adhesive, which is actually for fabrics as well as other items. I'm going to use these scissors, a ruler, just in case if I need to measure something out, a sharpie, an exacto knife, and this legal sized paper, which is roughly the same size as this planner, so I'm going to use it as a um, guide. So let's get started. First, I'm going to turn over the purse because we just want the outside, not the inside fabric. So I actually already went ahead and made a slit at the top so I could start cutting it. Um, we just need to get this fabric off quick and easily so that we can work with the material at the bottom. So now that the fabric is off, I'm going to grab the X-Acto knife and I'm going to start cutting at the stitching. I'm actually going to do this all around the purse so that way we have one side that we can work with to cover our planner. So now that the sides are unstitched, we're going to make sure that one side of the purse actually fits around the whole planner. Of course, from what I could see, it looks like it does. I'm assuming it does, but you can never be too sure, so you better double check. Um, we're not going to worry about the clasp right now. We're going to use another part of the fabric to make the clasp to cover that part. Um, so for right now, we're just going to focus on the body of the planner. So now that I know that this side fits perfectly around the planner, I went ahead and cut off the zipper part at the top. And now I just have to decide um, which design is going to go on what side of the planner. So I just have to make sure that because it's cut unevenly at the bottom that the planner is going to be placed perfectly in a spot where the whole thing covers the planner. Um, so that bottom part isn't going to be included. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually grab the white piece of paper, which is the legal size, which is roughly the size of the planner. I was going to cut it down to fit perfectly, trace around the planner, but because it's pretty much the same size, I decided to just use the whole page as a guide and um, leave it as is so it's more straightforward. I just cut that piece of fabric and then whatever's left over I can trim off instead of having it cut perfectly. So now I grab the sharpie, I'm just going to trace around the sheet of paper on the fabric. Um, it's a little rough. I didn't end up using the ruler just because it was more straightforward this way. And I just cut around the lines. It should be fine. Even if it's rough, you're going to be cutting it, um, you're going to be pasting it onto the planner. And then any type of excess fabric you can just cut off. So it's all trial and error at the end anyway. So <laughs> have fun with it. I mean, it is just a DIY project at home. So. There you go, that's the part I'm gonna be using. How beautiful is that? I'm just gonna throw out the scraps. Actually, don't throw out the scraps because we could actually use this little piece for the clasp, depending on what um, design you want for the clasp. So, just put that one aside. So now I'm gonna decide whether I want that design at the front of my planner or at the back. And I think I might actually go with it at the back because that looks really nice as the front of my planner. See, now you put it down and it's pretty much the right size. There's just a little bit of an excess um, at the back, but that's okay, we can always trim it. I'm gonna leave the edges uncovered so that way you can still see the pearlescent white at the bottom. Um, so I'm trying to align it perfectly with the sides so I can have only just one side with excess that we have to cut instead of the whole thing and that way it's less work and it's just easier. And where the clasp is, I'm actually going to use a sharpie to outline where the metal part is. And then I'm going to go and grab a hole puncher and I'm just going to make a hole where the clasp should be. 
gotta use what you got guys, we're home, might as well. <laughs> there you go. So now I'm gonna grab the Gorilla Spray, make sure that it's a clean surface. I should have actually put a plastic bag underneath, but I didn't think about it at that time. <laughs> and just spray. Go ahead, go crazy with that spray because we don't really know if, how this is gonna stick. I know it says fabric, but you can never be too sure. Sometimes it just doesn't mesh together well, so put a lot. Make sure it's right at the edge and hold down. You might want to do this for a few minutes to make sure that it really sticks. Once that side is fine, go ahead and spray the other side. Here we go, we're almost there. Lots of glue. Hold it down for a couple of minutes. Make sure that it's lined up perfectly with the edges on both sides. Make sure that there's no bubbles because at first it's not very sticky. It doesn't stick perfectly so you have to make sure that there's no bubbles and it's sticking on well. Okay, so now we're going to use that extra fabric that we put aside and make the clasp cover. So I'm just eyeing it at this point. I like that design for the clasp because it's different to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to measure it roughly with my Sharpie. All trial and error, guys. <laughs> oh, I got some Sharpie on the side. Hopefully I can cover that up when I glue it on, but that's okay. So here we go, cutting it and hoping it fits. But first of all, we need to get rid of that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. As close as you can to the edge, obviously it's not gonna be perfect because the clasp is right there, but do your best. You can always go back and fix it up. Okay, so now I'm going to put down a plastic bag and make sure that the part that I cut actually fits well on the clasp. Let's see, there's a bit of a gap. I may I cut it too short. <laughs> so we're going to try that again with another scrap. Let's see, maybe this part, but I don't like that fabric because it matches the front of the planner. So I'm just going to grab the other side of the purse which we haven't touched yet, and I'm going to cut the part that I like, the one with the scales. <laughs> and I'm just going to cut a part off of that. Perfect. So now I'm going to get the one that I cut, I'm going to trace it, and I'm going to add a little bit more at the bottom, just eyeing it. I mean, I should be measuring it well, but I mean, who has the time right now? I'm just having fun. <laughs> just giving it a shot. Here we go. So. Try it again, could be cut a little bit more. Oh, here we go, eyeing it again. That's okay, it's fine. So we're gonna grab the Gorilla Spray and spray it like crazy. Also spray the clasp because the more glue the better. And you're gonna just hold it down and make sure that it sticks because it might take a while to stick. If you have a better glue, then go ahead and use a better glue, but this is all I had at home, so I'm trying to use what I've got. There you go, once it's dry, that's what it looks like. Now we have to cut the excess fabric off. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut that off, and I'm also going to cut off the sides. If you notice, the corners on this planner are rounded. So I have to cut the fabric that way as well. So I'm gonna go around the corners. So here's the end result, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And follow me on Instagram. If you guys end up trying this at home, tag me in pictures, let me know. I wanna see your creations. Now that we're mostly all at home, um, we can find something to enjoy ourselves. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're staying safe and um, keep creating. <laughs> Bye, guys.